So this young guy was sent through from local GP. This is a close-up of the nail as he presented. He'd had nail surgery with phenolization, total nail avulsion, done very well, very well indeed, by a local GP about two years ago. But two years later, still hadn't healed. Eagle eye viewers will notice that the picture was on my previous socials from end of last year. So we'd done a, a, a skin biopsy on him, and punch biopsy, to rule out anything cheeky, anything that was suspicious. And that would come back as just normal hypergranulation tissue. So we decided we'd take him forward for resection of the hypergranulation tissue. So Ryan, I'm just going to clean that toe. Any soreness there? Not right now. Okay, just a quick cut to a still. So we've done the skin prep. He's obviously had local anaesthesia and we've used Chirocane 0.5% which is my favourite local anaesthesia um, weapon of choice. So he's in theatre, we've got the whole train set in theatre which is just kind of handy really, it's a little bit better than doing it in clinic. You can see there's a digital tourniquet in place there held on with some um, artery forceps and he's numb, he's prepped and so the plan now is to remove aggressively with a Voltman curette that chronic hypergranulation tissue of two years duration. Can you see guys? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Tissue. So send a little bit off to uh, Histo, just cause we can. Do you want it just in cyanide? Um, just uh, uh, formalin, just in a wet pot. Just normal. Yeah. Might as well send it off just to check. It's all nice. I think it really just needs an aggressive debridement. So, a bit of nail there, down one surface. Same on the other side. Not as big that side. No, 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 I actually wanted a black spiral, but this, this will do nicely. So, really, so good. You really, really see just in that sulcus there, you see yes. that's coming down. So, this is kind of a bit of recurrent nail tissue there. So, I think part of the problem is that the nails try to regrow. There's that second bit. Okay. Yeah. So these are when you get the spiculectomies you get when you have like a failed zaric type procedure. Okay. Yeah, no, no, this is good. I've got a smaller one, so double ended. <laughs> like most of my compliments. 
Charlie, you've not been in the team long enough to get one of my compliments yet. He's coming though. I'm sure. He's coming. I'm Might sure. not be this side of Christmas, but I can feel it. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> Could be the Christmas too. because I think uh, there's, a, there's a little bit of suspicious he wants to be there. So sometimes those little bits of root can be really Do a histo sample as well, please, guys. Just um, just a swab will do. Thanks, Aki. So that's quite deep down. So we'll do a deep tissue sample as well. You want a swab? Yeah. Don't don't send a swab off for bacteriology and uh, formula, Aki, because uh, they rarely grow anything. You, you did ask for a histo. Sample. You did ask for a histo. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Histo there. Yeah. yeah. My phone here. Thanks, Rob. I get my manners there. So guys, can I get a um, gallipot made up with some saline and some iodine please? You're going to give us some good irrigation. scar tissue really. Yeah. 
the last one is the same. So you just put it there, that's the one. Yeah, it's just fifty. Yeah, we'll just take a still of that for the records. Here's a close up post procedure shot. You can see it's all cleaned up nicely, all the hypergranulation tissue is gone, and you can just about see if you zoom in from the medial and lateral sulcus where I've removed two nail spikes. So I think the spikes was part of the problem, but I think the main thing was just a chronic contamination of the hypergranulation tissue in a patient with I guess some medical sensitivity although we never really got to the bottom of it. Um, just to say we also did x-rays to rule out any underlying osteomyelitis, we did bloods as well as the, um, the histo sample to rule out a squamous cell carcinoma um, as per the beginning of this video. This is a close-up of the two nail spicules that I removed from both the medial and the lateral sulcus. As you can see, they're really quite a size, but regrowth happens to every one of us that does nail surgery, so absolutely no criticism here. And then this is about two months post. So in truth, he took a long while to fully settle down. This is um, about two months post. You can see he's still not quite there. Um, we did another um, post-operative consultation about two weeks later but I managed to forget to press play <laughs> on taking a, a picture of that, so apologies. So it did go on to, to fully heal and all that residual information and contamination settled down. So we never really got to the bottom of why medically he was um, so slow to heal after the index procedure two years ago. Um, there were some medical conditions in the background, but really we think it was a, a chronic contamination that caused this chronic hypergranulation tissue. So in terms of learning points, well, um, good control of infection, good control of contamination, but being happy to go in and aggressively debride the hypergranulation tissue is really what we think we provided for this patient. Interesting case. Um, thank you for watching.